Alrighty, so um, my presentation today, I'm going to talk to um, some of the more advanced um, implementations that we're seeing on customer site. Um, so obviously SharePoint 2010 has been around for some time now. So really just letting you see some of those adoption trends. Okay, so um, who's heard of Visio Services before? Yeah? So there's a few people here that are new to Visio Services. So I think Visio Services is one of the great unsung heroes of the SharePoint 2010 stack. Um, previously, in, um, if you were trying to socialize a Visio diagram, you did one of two things. You either bought the licenses um, organizationally and socialized the um, Visio source file, um, or you saved it to a PDF um, or a Word document and embedded it, and then you lost a lot of the interactivity. Now, Visio Services is a mechanism um, which is um, um, with the SharePoint 2010 Enterprise Edition, which enables you to render those Visio diagrams directly within a browser. Okay, so you don't need to install Office clients, you don't need to install anything, it just does it directly within Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome and all the other um, browser stacks. So at first instance it's like, okay, well, you know, kind of big deal I guess because, um, you know, Visio is certainly isn't as uh, commonly used as a lot of the other Office products, but there's lots of really interesting scenarios here and we're seeing clients increasingly using Visio in creative ways. Um, the demonstration that you often see with um, loading up Visio services um, um, diagrams onto the internet is often something along the lines of this, where it's the, um, uh, the uh, view of the servers that are in your um, environment, uh, and what you can do, you can bind those servers to back-end data sources. So, for example, when your servers um, you got an outage, it may show up as red, but then an hour later everything's green again. So it's a really nice little way of, and you can use this for multiple, multiple things, for example, showing what printers are currently online. Um, um, who's, what hot desks are currently available, there's a number of different things. Um, but aside from the infrastructure usage of this technology, there's another <laughs> multiple different ways you can use it, from um, showing um, how sales are performing against um, targets from a geolocational perspective, for example, um, using it for like an, an org chart and who's completed their professional development reviews. There's just a number of things. So in the same way that Visio comes with, you know, dozens and dozens of templates and the community provides templates, um, you can really use those different um, templates in, in very creative ways tying into back-end data silos. Now, where I've seen this being used um, on client sites to great effect um, is around process management. Because one of the interesting things you can do with um, the Visio services when it's embedded in the browser, you can make it respond to click actions. Okay, so here we've got um, where um, a user has navigated through to view what a specific um, processes in their organization. Now what they can do here is click on the little um, icon here and it will automatically refresh the content so they can see the related documents, um, they can perhaps some um, action forms. So instead of the policies and procedures in your organization being a very static thing and communicated via PDF or um, documentation, you can easily build a site using Visio services where it becomes more of an interactive process. So people can have a, you know, have a discussion board on the side, blogs and wikis, all those collaboration, collaborative capabilities you can incorporate into the presentation here. So I hope a few of you can see some, some interesting scenarios for that. <laughs> 